Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. This time we will do something a little bit different and we're going to learn how to wash a ball of yarn. I'm making this video because earlier this week I was working on a project and I was working on a certain yarn and it's, I started to get this itchy uh, feeling and um, the next day I had like a really bad rash all over my body. And later I learned that um, yarn can cause, some fibers can cause irritation to your skin or an allergic reaction. So I went ahead and researched how to wash my yarn because I've never done it before. I just worked with it straight out of the, the store. So in this case, I'm washing the same yarn that I was working with and I will be um, putting on some gloves first because I don't want to touch it with my bare hands again. So um, let's put on some gloves. You're ready to wash your yarn so when you're going to wash you will need a mesh bag or you can also um, use like nylon pantyhose and you will of course need your yarn and some ties because we don't want the yarn to get all loose inside of the washing machine and i'm also in this case i'm going also to include some of the um, items that i already made with this yarn because i want it washed too um so the first thing we're going to do is remove the re remove the label And then I'm going to roll the remaining of this yarn. And in this case, this is, since it's long, I'm just going to go ahead and um, tie it. Which is high. Which in this case is a um, ponytail. There we go, and I'm going to do two just in case. So, hopefully, this keeps it um, tight enough, and I'm going to go ahead and open my mesh bag, insert it in there. And this is just leftovers. We're also I'm also going to include my project parts. And I'm going to zip up the bag. And now it's ready to be washed. We are ready to wash our yarn. So what we're what we're going to do is insert it in the washing machine then I want to get some soap you don't need that much since it's just a little bit of yarn so I'm just going to do that and I am going to put it here for some washing machines you might want to put it on top of the yarn all right I got my softener and my detergent and I'm just going to close it and now I'm going to select delicates. Okay, you have to select delicates or like a hand wash option. So it's not too rough. Okay, now it'll start washing uh, the yarn and I'll meet you at the end of the cycle. All right, so it just stopped washing. And I'm grabbing the yarn. As you can see, they're still tied. Everything looks in 
like it's in order and just like that I am going to put it on my drying machine you either want to use delicate or air dry in this case since the temperature is low and the dry level is normal I will um, use delicates and see how that goes so I'll see you at the end of the drying cycle okay so the yarn is dry and I'm about to touch it to touch it with my bare hands and hopefully it doesn't cause irritation to my skin so let's see all right so I am untying it got two ties in it and still a little bit wet here in the middle but it's not too bad so i think that if i let it air dry it'll be just fine and my projects are dry so this is how you successfully wash your yarn without it getting it untangled or tangled or loose so just don't forget your ties and don't forget to use your delicate option okay so i hope you learned something today and that it is useful for you i'll let i'll let you guys know how it went with my skin hopefully uh the problem is solved and i can still use it for my projects if you like this tutorial don't forget to press unsubscribe and like this video and i'll see you guys on the next tutorial bye